EES, which is pronounced EASE, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. The curve fit and the linear regression capabilities in EASE provide methods for obtaining mathematical functions that represent some underlying discrete data set. An alternative technique is interpolation, where some mathematical technique is used to estimate values of the dependent variable that fall between those values that are provided in the underlying data set. Interpolation in EASE is accomplished using data that is provided in a lookup table. For example, the thermal conductivity data that's provided here can be used as the basis for interpolation by entering them into a lookup table as shown here. The interpolate1, interpolate2, and interpolate3 functions in these all provide 1D interpolation. Interpolate1 uses linear interpolation, interpolate2 uses a quadratic method, while interpolate3 uses cubic interpolation. The interpolate function is identical to the interpolate3 function. It, it also uses cubic interpolation. The calling protocol for each of these fu functions is the same, and it's shown here for the interpolate1 function. So you can see that y then is the uh, value of the dependent variable that's returned by the function, and then you have a series of these inputs. The first one is a string table, and that corresponds to the name of the lookup table that contains the data that you want to use for interpolation. And then the next two strings, yvar and xvar, uh, are the names of the column headers that are associated with the dependent variable yvar and the independent variable xvar. The next argument then specifies the value of the independent variable. Um, you should know that in order for the interpolate functions to work right, uh, it's necessary that the entries in the column corresponding to the independent vari variable have to vary monotonically. So they either have to increase continuously or decrease continuously. And these last two arguments are optional, uh, start row and stop row. Uh, if you provide them, then they specify the range of rows to use within those columns. And if you don't provide them, uh, then all of the rows in those columns will be used. So to carry out cubic interpolation using uh, these data that are in this lookup table conductivity uh, and estimate the conductivity at a temperature of, for example, 311 Kelvin, which isn't one of these entries, uh, you would use the command shown here. Right? So we're going to uh, say k equals interpolate. Uh, interpolate will do cubic interpolation. You have the name of the table, conductivity, and then the uh, dependent variable column name is conductivity, the independent variable column name is temperature, and then we say temperature equals T, where T is 311 Kelvin. And uh, this will return uh, this value of conductivity here. If the value of independent variable that you provide is outside of the range that's included in the table, uh, then the interpolate commands will attempt to extrapolate, but ease will also give you a warning to let you know that that's what happened. So for example, 150 Kelvin is, is outside of the range of temperatures that are provided in this table. Uh, but we can estimate the conductivity at 150 Kelvin. Uh, in this case, we'll be using extrapolation. So T equals 150 Kelvin, the same command. And you're going to see then we get the uh, reasonable extrapolation of K equal 4.04 Watt per meter Kelvin. But you also get this warning uh, that's shown here. And, and note that you won't get a warning unless you have the display warning messages selected in the options menu, uh, in the options tab of the preferences dialog. <laughs> Note that it's not actually necessary to load a lookup table into ease in order to use it as the basis of interpolation. So uh, if you want to um, refer to a table that's stored on, on, a, on a disk somewhere or in memory, uh, then you can uh, use the string uh, table uh, to refer to the name of an existing lookup table. Um, and these lookup tables must be stored as files with the file extension .lkt or .lkt64 if you have the 64-bit version of these. And, and if you're doing that, then uh, the .lkt or .lkt64 uh, file name extension has to be included in the table name string. So this is one of a series of tutorials that is meant to describe the operation of the E software. Uh, if you'd like to get more information about ease, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, please go to the website fchartsoftware.com. 
These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained from the FChart software website.